Welcome back to the New Holland Challenge. We are in spring of year two and we just purchased a few new fields. So we're gonna go in here into miscellaneous and go ahead and lease, oh, details, lease the scout. So we can go ahead and get all the soil information for our new fields. Let's see where it put it, oh, a little bit over there. I'll go pick that up and then we're gonna head over to the fields that are closer here, which are by our cows, and we'll scout that out first, and then we'll scout the smaller fields after that. I will meet you at the field, which is pretty close to the store, actually. So let's make sure, let's look at the map. Oops, a little bit bigger here. Yep, 27 is the one. So we'll go ahead and get these done. Um, we have shown this on a lot of videos, so you know, just in case anyone's not familiar with this part of precision farming, we're gonna go ahead and take Whoops, when it folded up, we want to hit B. We'll take a soil sample and we'll get this entire large field all prepped and then we'll send it out to get the samples analyzed. And that'll tell us the soil type so that when we're seeding, when we're placing down nitrogens for fertilizer or during uh, other things like lime, it'll use a variable rate to save us a little bit of cash or sometimes spend more, but it, it seems to be a savings most of the time. So we'll get most of these samples taken and we'll see the results and check them out together. And then we'll uh, see what these fields need, see if they're fertilized. Cause if we top down here, you know, expected yield, no data found for soil. So we're not really sure how the fertilization is on it, but it looks like it's probably gonna need fertilized and uh, the growth stages are close. So it might be late. We might try to sneak it in here in April. We'll see how far we get. All right, well, 17 taken. It's going to be a little pricey, but we can kind of... Let's take a peek out here. We can see the samples in these trays. We can kind of see it there. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll send that out. going to be a little bit of money there. We might, we might go broke. We're going to head on over to the other fields, and I will stop when it returns the information, and we'll take a look at it. All right, it didn't take too long, so yes, it does need nitrogen. Its pH is, uh, we'll have to see what that is for that a specific field, but mostly loom. We have a little bit of sandy loom. Is it loam or loom? I always say loom. Loomy sand, just a little bit and a little bit of clay. Not, not too bad. Let's go to the other ones. We'll get those done and uh, I'll update you on everything and then we'll build a plan for how to get these fields prepped for the harvests that are already, or the, yeah, the harvests that are coming up. All right, we haven't seen this field yet, so pretty excited to have these new fields. And can we get one width? Let's try to get as far to the north as possible. Now we're gonna have to do two, that's unfortunate, but we be able to do that there. Yeah, we'll get all these done and that field directly in front of us is ours as well. So I'll get these two done and then we'll take a look. All right, taking a look at these other ones. We have loom and sandy loom, and then, yeah, not too bad. So we'll have to get these in order. Uh, pH, yeah, all of them. pH, nitrogen, everything's going to have to be done. It looks like our grass field needs nitrogen, too. Let's go take a look at that. And it's getting late in April. I don't know. Try to use as much of this daylight as possible, but we got some, we got some fields to take care of. Yeah, nitrogen's fine here. So the first thing before we forget is let's go ahead and go into our lease there and we will return that. And then the fertilizer spreader, we're gonna go ahead and grab that tractor. Maybe we'll pop lime in that first and go ahead and get those fields taken care of. Um, don't know what we have available to us. We got a lot of fertilizer. And I think we have lime in this now, don't we? Let's see. We don't. We have fertilizer. So let's... We're going to drop this little bit out. All right. Looks like we were out of lime. So we'll head on over here. Open it on up. Go ahead and get a good amount here. Um. Yeah, we might as well fill it up. In a little low on money, but we'll do these fields that are near us first. And did this one need it? How's the pH here? I think that's okay. We can skip this one for that. We'll go ahead and get these two small fields done. 
and then we'll head out to the one by the cows and get that done. Should not take very long at all with these small ones. All right, let's do this. Finishing up this last spot, we did have to buy three extra bags while we're out here. It's getting a little dark. I think it's time to make it May. And then we'll do fertilizer on these as well. So we will see you in the morning. All right, well, it is May and we are hurting for money. So we're gonna first save the game. We're gonna take a look at, oh, we have to do fertilizer everywhere. All right, so let's look at contracts because we're hurting for money, bailing, fertilizing, weeding. So we could lease this, do that field. Let's go ahead and do that, Bar or borrow items. And we might as well, and let's go ahead, what, what kind of, whoops, what kind of tractor is this? T Japan V. Okay, so let's grab this tractor and we will take it to the store because we can't use those tractors because they are not New Holland. Um, create job. Go to the store and that should be good. Start that. Um, of course, can't figure out how to back out. So let's, we'll give it a shot. We'll get this going. Uh, try again. Great job, and start. Well, you know, I have some complaints lately. This is default game stuff. Why can't you find the route? There we go. All right. Then we're going to take this fertilizer and do what we can, I think. Uh, let's look at these fields real quick. Okay, that has a little bit... The ones that are the darkest green, I want to focus on first. So it'd be 24 and 27. And I think everything else is good fertilizer-wise. Yeah, we'll need, we'll need a weed as well. Do we need a weed over here? Nope, it looks okay. So just 19 needs herbicide. All right, let's, um... Let's buy as much fertilizer as it'll let us. So we're losing money. Let's go do that. We're gonna go negative, but we'll 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 make sure we end. Let's look at the price of eggs. Maybe that's what we'll do. We can still do the contracts, but we'll definitely do these eggs. Drop that off real quick, and then the trailer is probably... It's right there. All right, we'll let this tractor just back in. 
And even though the prices aren't as good as possible, we're really close to running out of money. So I think we'll take care of those right now. Oh, got to attach it first. And we'll get that enabled. And then we might swing by the sheep as well to drop off wool and check on their food and everything. And then we'll get to fertilizing. So let's loop around here. And we'll take the eggs. Oh, they're already enabled. Got two more full ones. 10,000, that's not bad. Should get us about $30,000. Um, honey, we're going to head over to the honey and move those while we're thinking about it, as well as these ones. And just get them out of the way so that more can spawn. And then we need to check on the water situation here as well. Water is getting close, so a month or two from now, we will have to take care of that. Might even be this month, might make sense to do that. Uh, no more, or one more over here. Okay, got those. Yeah, this, this farm's just, just got real busy, didn't it? Oh, we didn't, we didn't mean to do that. I guess those are coming with us. All right, we got a full one here out there. See how many more spawn for us. All right, he's work, workers done, so we can go pick up the weeder. All right, and then let's, yeah, let's grab this one. Oh, how are we going to figure out which one goes to which field? Um, I think this red one was the smaller of the jobs. They should blink at me. They do. All right, so now we will we'll go ahead and take the worker over there. And go to 21, and it's just across from each other, so we should be able to see if it lets us use this equipment. Go ahead and unfold it. And get it lowered. And that is working. So go ahead and get a worker going there. And then we got all of our honey moved, it looks like. Oh, we moved the smaller crate. That's right. So we'll get this taken to the diner. And then we will look at our loan, too. We might be able... Oops, that's the wrong way. We might be able to pay off the loan as well. Got to be careful with money, though. Got to start making money. All right, so let's get about 30000 Maybe a little more with the lettuce and tomatoes we brought with us. All right, let's see. Egg selling. Well, a little more than I thought. We're over 40,000 on this. And for our total coming in here. Wow, they're taking their time, aren't they? 39,000 and plus 1,800. Not bad. Let's go ahead and head over to the sheep. We'll pick up their wool. We'll drop that off at the spinnery. And then we'll get to fertilizing and check out our loans as well. Oh, man, we are in business with wool now. We got to check their food and water, though. The water might be low. But what do we got here? We got 4,072 liters. All right, let's go ahead. We'll drop off the trailer for now. Pull over to the water tank, and it's facing the other way. Hopefully, there's still water in it. I do not remember. Got to remember that we... Got to fill this up monthly now that we're getting close to being full of sheep here. All right, get that taken care of. Let's hop out here and grab some grass. And we'll just top them off. Looks like they're good, so we'll leave that one there. And if we, I think if we leave a couple of them here, they'll just automatically fill up. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's get the wool dropped off. And then we can get to fertilizing. All right, dropping that off. And I don't remember if we disabled this. So we're going to hop in here. And wool does need to be activated. So 2,800, about 2,900 a month. 
So we do have enough to keep them happy for at least a month, which is nice. We'll go ahead and go drop this back off at the farm and then get some fertilizer. Then again, check out those loans. And it looks like they're going to be done with Field 21 by the time we get back. Making quick work of that. All right, we're back. Let's look at the money. 10000 Yeah, let's, let's pay that back. We don't want to pay any more interest on that. And then I also... I do want to hop in here and attempt to smooth this out a little bit. Let's see what happens when we use slope. If we right click... Okay, we're going to lose our grass, but I think that's okay. Because we weren't really going to use it right there anyways. Oh, okay, so that will go ahead and soft it. Make that look a little better. Yeah, I mean, that's way better than it was. And this side... Yeah, we can just soften like crazy. Let's make that a little bigger. Oh, that's probably too big. Eating into our cash, but it's part of the part of the deal. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we really want to keep the grass there. Let's right here. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, that's gonna take care of it good. Very nice. All right, let's go back into painting. And we're going to grab just the grass one. Do we have a grass? There it is. We'll do that. We'll fix this. We'll fix it. Don't worry. Um, What do we want to do here? Let's just go right across like that. Okay. And then asphalt. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, yeah. All the oil. Let's check the price on that. When is that at its top? November. Okay, so we have a, a ways till then, and we probably will have more to turn this back on as well. And look at that timing. All right, so let's hop in here. Contract is completed. Collect our $200 there, and we'll go pick up the other one. Well, that was... Jeez, I don't know if that was worth it. We'll get the other weeder and get going on field number 25 next. Probably cost more in worker than it did in contract there. Nice. Looks like it can handle it. Let's go ahead and send that off on a worker. And then we want this tractor. To pick up our fertilizer. And I don't remember leaving it there. I'm losing my mind. We're going to have to top it off because we have a lot of fields to take care of here. There we go. 10,000. Oh, I forgot it was so expensive. We need it, though. We'll go through it before the end of the series. We're only on season, or season, year two. So we're okay. All right. So over here in, what is this, uh, green, be uh, green beans? Are they soybeans? Soybeans, yep. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we're looking like for this. Go home. That should be all right. We'll lock it in. Already locked in. Get it started, and we'll get this fertilizer done. Should be fairly... Oh, and soybeans don't need fertilizer. Soybeans don't need fertilizer. So let's go ahead and head over to the wheat field. That's nice. That's one field done. And we'll go right here. We'll hit home. That should be good. Lock it in. Nice. Okay. So here we go. Let's get our fertilizer done. Hopefully a full tank is enough for these two fields. And we'll check the grass field too. I think it was okay, but we'll double check it when we get back. All right. Finishing up this field here. And we got the fertilizer done and we should be ready again. We'll go double check the grass field, but I think the grass field's fine. The worker's about halfway done with weeding that field. Looking good. Let's get home, see what's next. And so our fields are all set. I think we did need to figure out what was going on with weeds on field 19. Let's head on over there and take a look. So it needs a weeder. 
let's go ahead and hop in here and see how much it costs to lease one. Well, we don't need a large one. Uh, we should be able to get it done pretty quick with this. So we'll go pick that up. All right, let's see how this does. We haven't weeded this way. Well, I guess we did in the, earlier on in the series, and I do like doing this instead of herbicide. It just feels better. It feels like you're gonna produce a better crop, in my opinion. I don't like herbicide. It's kind of gross. But yeah, we'll get this done, and then we'll see where we're sitting. But we got all these fields in good shape for the upcoming fall harvest. It's gonna be a busy harvest season, which makes me wanna start thinking about what production should we pick up to you know, take advantage of all of this. Go ahead and skip a row. Might as well. And lose a little bit of grass that we could be cutting. Now the other field across from us, I think we're going to expand that next time. And get a little bit bigger of a harvest out of it. I want to take a look at the land over there and see if it's going to cooperate for that or not. Alright, last row that we got to do and we can see our workers coming home as well at the same time. Nice. Well, well done, worker. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it cost us or made us much money doing those contracts, but at least we helped out some neighbors. So well, we'll get this done. We'll get this weeder returned. I do like doing this. It takes a little bit longer than the herbicide, but it just, it just feels cleaner. Let me know what you think. Or how many people out there do eco-friendly and uh, or environment-friendly? No, non, no herbicide. Try to go green. Keep things as clean as possible. Maybe use uh, manure instead of nitrogen as well. Maybe we'll do a series like that. That sounds kind of fun. All right, let's hop in here into the store menu and our keys. Go ahead and return that. And then the spreader. Um, 41,000. What is it new? Seventy-eight or set forty-one. So we haven't paid much off. So let, I'm gonna go over there, unload it. We're gonna return that because we don't need it for a while. There's no point in paying the leases. Again, I, I I got the other series confused for a little bit, but we're fixing that. We do have a little bit of fertilizer over here that I noticed as well. So maybe we'll loop that around, drop that off, try to get it in the same place. A lot of fertilizer but we'll be leasing this again oh put it everywhere yeah we'll have to clean that up but let's go ahead and hop in here as well and go ahead and return that saving some money and then this one to purchase 19,000 so we might do that soon but we'll get these all sorted over here and then we'll take a peek at the chickens food See if they're good. The cows as well. And then in June, I believe, we'll be able to harvest the grass. Yes, we'll be able to harvest both grass fields. And that'll give us enough food for a while. And then some of these... Oh, we're going to have to figure out a bigger field for, for grass. Because we're going to need a lot of silage soon to feed the cows when they start reproducing. And to speed that up, we're thinking about buying some more cows as well. Because I think we only have four babies still. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's take a look at the chickens. Uh, 15,000 liters left for the cows. Good over here. Water. Yeah, we'll have to take care of that. We'll top that off before the night. We've got a couple more days left of that. Let's head over and we'll top off the water. And that'll probably be it for today's episode. Want to make sure that's topped off before we sleep. Gosh, it is only noon. Maybe we will end the episode, pick up in May, find some things to do. Got to start maximizing our money. I want to start thinking about some more productions and make sure we get the money we need for that. Let's take a look here. With all of the wheat that we have coming in. I think we want to get to 96,000 for the grain mill. It would be nice to also get enough for the bakery. With those two together, you know, $150,000 would be nice. There's a lot of trees around here. Maybe we'll get some of those trailers or the carts, what are they called? The containers. 
and maybe we'll fill a few of them up and try to get enough money to buy those two productions. Might be something to do while we're waiting for our crops to grow. Oh, don't cut through their field. We don't own that. Yeah, let's go top them off. And that'll be about it. All right, they didn't need much. Got that done. We will go ahead and leave this tractor here for now. Or food's looking good. Everything's looking good. Lots of sheep. Let's go over to the cows again. See how close we're getting. We're about halfway. About halfway to them reproducing. We got a little bit of slurry in there. Probably got a little bit of manure as well. But that'll do it for episode 11 here on the new Holland Challenge. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we'll get to that 5 million. But we got a couple years still. Three full years left. Three and a half about. Wish us luck. One sock's way up. I'll catch you on the next one. Welcome back to our new Holland Challenge. We are in summer of year three. Two, we're gonna try to move pretty quickly. We're getting the chickens fed. We already filled up the water for the sheep. We did skip ahead to June. We were thinking about doing some stuff for May, later on in May, but I decided against that. Looked into a few options. There wasn't very many, very good contracts available, so we did skip forward. And it looks like July is gonna be possibly the first month to do some harvesting. So right now we're just taking care of a little bit of uh, our needs. We have our tractor over here. Go ahead and taking care of bailing and we'll have to pick up the loose ends, but we're hoping this does its job. It's saying it'll take 21 minutes. Trying a couple different settings here to try to get this to work good. It's just it's just not the best solution with course play. But this is pretty sweet. So 20 minutes just to do all of this while we can go around and do some chores, make sure everything else is looking good. I'll rejoin you in a little bit. Not going to show my... Well, as I was saying, we're not going to show cutting the lawn too much or cutting more grass. We've, we've shown that enough in this series. So we will jump ahead and it'll probably be July next time I join you. Well, we'll let you know. Well, after many trips to the watering hole, we've got both of our... Greenhouse is refilled. They did end up emptying. We caught it just about at the end of the lettuce being emptied. So we're going to take the tanker back, get it prepped for our sheep, top them off. And I think we're just going to fast forward through the night. Before we get to the wheat harvest, I feel like every time I play, we talk about there being a storage issue. So you can see I have all of those on here. We're not selling them yet. We're getting all of these out of the way. We're going to check out the new storage units. We're going to sell this. It seems to be the least utilized. Let's just get all this stuff out of the way. Grab that. We are going to sell it for 11000 And then we're going to come in here and find the new one, which I believe is under silos. Yep, right here. It says we don't have enough money. Okay, I definitely do want this. So we're going to take a little bit of a loan out. Go right there see what we can do see how this thing works so i believe we have unload you to the right let's pull up forward Boop. awesome there they are they're back there we can't go back there so nice put those in there and interesting Nice. So we have 46 out of the possible 250 in there. That seemed like a really good purchase. Well, I guess we could find out if the grass goes in there, too. Oh, there's... Well, there's our answer. So we'll get the rest. We'll put them in there, and then we're all organized. We don't have stuff just sitting around. So we're moving along. Get our straw. Come on. There goes the straw. All right, that was a little delayed. But let's see how this yield does. It's looking good. It's all green on the map. You know, I don't think there's any reason to do a headland here. We'll just go back and forth. And once it gets full, we'll get the trailer over here. We'll start loading this up and see how we're doing.
first field is done. We did two trailers of 8,000 plus this 5,500 here. I would say this this field's working out for us. It's not a huge field, but to get that much wheat from it, I'm very satisfied. Uh, so we're going to get the worker started here. I'm going to pick up my eggs and some other loose ends that I found just sitting out. And then get the trailer over here by then. And then we should be able to rock and roll and get that field finished. Yeah, so eggs can go in here, everything. So we'll be able to, yeah, there's some stuff that we forgot. There's a couple, I think there was one thing of lime out there and then one other rate that I did see. So even though these aren't full, let's go ahead and snag them. All right, there's one load. Come back for the next one here once we dump this off. Dump this off, drop it off. There we go, get this all filled up. Get it dumped. We're going to go pick up the header trailer, and we're going to see if a worker can drive this thing all the way to that other field. I'm not really banking on it, but we'll see. Now, I always forget which side these go on. So we'll give that a shot. Don't know if it matters, but I do always forget, because I don't use them very often. Mm, that seems right. And this will be interesting because we do need a lot of this for the chickens, but I, I think we need to get a flour mill going. 43,000 already. We got that big field left. We should be sitting pretty close to 100,000 when all is said and done. There's a big field, so let's go here. We'll see if this one can pull this off. Let's get you to meet me at the store right there all right now this one let's turn the engine on let's go sell these 3600 liters see if we can get enough money to get that trailer i think we'll be fine um i checked all the other things nothing else is close to being top price so this will have to do i'm hoping not to take out another loan i don't think we'll be able to pay off the loan we took out already but that storage unit's definitely worth it Ooh, it's going to be close once we sell the other trailer. Not quite good enough, though, I don't think. We might have to hold back on the extender on the trailer we're looking at. We'll show you when we get there in just a second. I'm going to drop this off by the sheep, top off their water, and then hopefully we can meet that worker at the store. So what we might do here is lease this as a lease to own. So we'll go here, we will repaint it, didn't cost much, and repair it, and then sell it. And we're sitting at 35,000. Let's go ahead and get out of the way here, and then we will shut off our tractor and we'll jump into the store. So the one I was looking at was a Rollin. And it's at 36. It's already out of our price range. So yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll do the big boy. We'll lease it. We'll lose a little bit of cash there when we're able to pay for it. But that will be good. Turn this on. And uh, yeah, this is the 260. So it definitely will be able to pull this one. And we'll go ahead and drop this off by the field. And get all prepped. And then we'll get the harvester over here. Pretty good size field. So we'll get this over by the trailer as well. as That's where we'll start. Now, there's a lot to do. It's only 1 o'clock. So next episode we'll definitely be able to get a few other things done. Other than just harvesting. So we'll get this field done. And I want to potentially take care of the grass field. Make sure it's good. And I'm, I'm tempted to get a mulcher just to increase the yield even more on some of those other fields. So we'll see. I'm Soxway Up. I'll catch you on the next episode. Welcome back to Goldcrest Valley. We're going to find out how the yield is on this new field, and it's looking amazing so far. That's a pretty dark green there. It's a new Holland challenge. This is definitely going to be interesting. We're sitting at 33,000 right now. We got a little over three years to go to see if we can get to 5 million. 
uh, based on some of the plans we have and the things that we've been doing, I, I'm, I have no idea. I went ahead and bought four more cows. Um, we have eight total. They're all 12 months old. We're excited about our canola being ready to be harvested. Let's head on over there and take a look. This is exciting. That means we can get our oil production back up and running after we harvest this. In our first load of canola going, we're going to then get the production back up and running. We'll probably assign a worker to this to finish this harvest for us, and then we can multitask and pick up the rest of the grain. Let's just get out of the way a little bit. Go ahead and get that closed there, and then we should be able to just get this started and ask the worker to take over for us. And we can go turn this into the production and we'll go ahead and get that re-enabled. Let's go over there. 6,000 should get us a good start. All right, let's go ahead and get it tipped over. While that's happening, let's take a little peek here. Yeah, all right, let's head on over here and get it turned on. Okay, so we want to activate canola oil. And while we're in here, let's take a look here. We're missing wool, so we need to get that taken care of. And clothing, yeah, so that stuff slowed down, so we got that worker going. All right, the wool's dropped off. Let's go ahead and get back in here. It was already activated, so it should be good. Well, the worker did a really good job on this field, so let's go ahead and get all of this unloaded into the trailer. And then we'll drop it off at the oil mill and see where we're sitting. Should be pretty good. A couple months worth of canola oil. Well, there it goes, the last bit of canola for the year. Very nice, so that puts us at 21,000. If we hop in and take a look at the production, we get 4,800 a month, so that should get us, that's actually pretty good, that's actually pretty good. So we should get a good amount of canola oil from that. We already have a lot in storage, so we have to pay attention to when that peaks its price so we can see how we're sitting. And I think we talked about when we built that, that the first year wasn't gonna be productive or profitable for the oil mill. But this year should put us into the green for at least making our money back for building the building. And then year three, four, and five is going to really, really going to set us forward for, for production on that. We've got 168,000 liters here from these two fields. So we'll drop this off at the cows. I have a feeling this is going to be enough for a good amount of time. All right, so we can unload it right there. They got plenty for capacity. And then we'll go pick up the rest of them over here. I have a feeling some of this is going to get sold. This is a lot of straw. Go ahead, back just a hair there. Boom. Go get a few that are left. But yeah, I think we did pretty good. And we got to figure out what we're going to do with that wheat. Because we got a lot of wheat, and I think it's just not the best idea to just sell it. Because we get a lot more money if we turn it into bread, potentially. This bakery does accept wheat and barley. So I would assume we could go ahead and get this. It's only 30,000. We're gonna go ahead and we're risking it. I'm gonna take 40,000 out so that we have enough money. Actually, I'll pay back. We're gonna pay back to 10 of that. All right, so we have $30,000 loan. We have 11,000 still. Storage is empty here. But you can see here, yes. If, what? Ah, oh, we screwed up. It wants flour. Where can we make flour? What do we got here? This looks like is the flour mill. It is 80,000. We're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make our money back. Mistake on top of mistake on top of mistake. So let's see here now when we go into our productions. We should, yes. Okay, we can make corn flour as well, which is something we might look into. All right, let's see how this goes. Slow down, slow down, slow down. A little heavy. So we'll hop out here, let that start. Yeah, all right, that's filling up. Let's hop over here and get this production activated. Went ahead and lease this spreader while we wait for the other field to be able to be harvested so we get some lime done, liming done. And uh, it's nice to use the storage. You came in here, we found all of our lime, got it taken out, and we got these four, what are these, cages? I don't know what these are called. These bags that are on, on pallets, but we're gonna get that filled up and lime all the fields that need it and probably have to buy a little bit more lime because I don't think this will be enough and didn't do the extensions on the spreader, so it's gonna take us a little extra time. It 
It's officially September and the soybeans are not ready to be harvested. So we'll have to top off the water for the sheep here. And then we're going to load up this trailer. So that's why I'm over here also. I want to get the trailer full of fertilizer, some lime, and some other things so that we can go ahead and get the large wheat field all prepped and seeded. I think we're going to do wheat on that field. Let's see if we can yet we can plant wheat. So we'll get wheat going on that field as well as um, potentially, you know, all of the things that need to be done for it. So look at that bread. Awesome. All right. So let's hop out here. We're going to take our bread on over to our storage. Right, we got the supply trailer over here. Now it's time to head to the store because we have a few machines or implements to lease and we might, we might need to take out another loan. We extended ourselves a little too far. All right, so I got enough money to have $150,000 in loans just so we can make sure we have enough. So I, what I want to do, we're going to do quite a bit here. Um, we can't pull that. We can pull this. So this roller we're going to lease, and we're going to keep it for a little bit. Mulchers next, if I can find them. There we go. And gosh, that one, 6 meters, 200 horsepower. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to lease that because we are going to mulch. And then the only other thing we need is our cedar. And yeah, this one, I uh, might as well just go with this one. Oh, we need one more thing. Because I'm a doofus, I turned in the spreader. We'll lease that. And then we also didn't bring any lime, so I will grab a few bags of lime. And that should be everything. So that's all we're going to do here. We're going to do all those things. So let's lower it. See if this can do it. Very nice. All right. Seems like our tractor's struggling a little bit. Well, the mulch is still going. We're going to try to get started on seeding. We are going to do wheat here. And I think the rest of the fields by the house will probably do canola so that we can get everything that we need for our productions going. And we shouldn't catch up to the mulcher, but we might. The mulcher did such a good job finishing this up. I'm sending it over to a couple other fields or the, the New, Ho New Holland there, the smaller one, did a much better job. I can't remember the model on that one. I think it's like 260 horsepower, maybe. But yeah, so we're going to send that over to another field, let that get going while we finish this up. We potentially might hand this off to a worker as well so we can get more things done this month. We're moving along. So being that this is a challenge, I'm a little concerned that the money we're spending isn't going to pay for itself off in the next three years or pay us back. We do have a lot, whoops, forgot to turn it on. We do have a lot of fields that we are taking care of now. So these lease costs should pay for themselves by the end of all these fields getting taken care of, but just not completely confident in that yet. So we'll see. We'll get a worker going on this let them go we got you know two other fields that they can also mulch so plenty of work to do around the farm as we get this one finished seeding we got to probably plant at least one more field this month so we can spread out our harvest i think i was looking at this these are worth a good amount i think i'm going to select about 10 of them and we'll sell 10 i think we'll still be able to get to the 300 if we do that so that helps with four thousand bucks uh, these ones just increased. Interesting. So I don't know. I'm going to keep a couple of these that are at 570, but we're going to, or 507, but we're going to sell a few more and then we'll go into, so that'll help us get out of debt. I did pay off a little bit. So let's repay two more. We'll keep our money at 5,800 here. 115,000 in debt still. We're almost done with seeding this wheat field. Got the seating done. We went ahead and brought this other tractor back over to take over rolling here. It was struggling a little bit with the mulcher. So now that we have this 260 freed up, I'm going to take it back home so it can finish up the mulching and seeding the other wheat field that we're going to plant for this year. But we're going to fill up before we do that. And we'll have to come back later to pick some things up. And it's time to get prepped for seeding. We're going to do this field here. You can see we have our roller and the planter or the seeder here. 
So we'll get the drill ready. Should Yeah, we got everything filled up on it pretty good. And then we'll probably hand it over to a worker because, man, we got a lot going on. You can see over here we're also cutting the grass and probably turn this group into silage since we have a ton of grass still in storage that we're starting to have enough to where we could make a little bit of money off of it instead of just keeping it. So we'll make that decision very soon here in probably December or February. Oh, no way. 21,000? Nice. So it is October, and we're going to plant canola in the rest of these fields. We still have to harvest the soybeans, so we'll get that going soon. But I wanted to get a worker going on this while it's raining. We're going to wait till the rain passes to harvest the soybeans. I figured we could get away with planting while it was raining. Shouldn't be too rough. Now that it's November, we're gonna drop off some wool, pick up more of our bread, and then figure out which goods we can sell this month. I know some of the prices are starting to get good, so we're gonna take advantage of that, try to get out of debt, pay off all of our leases, get in a lot better state moving into year three so we can start being really more profitable and get closer to gaining some momentum to get to $5 million. We got all our morning chores done, so now it's time to hop in and take a look at the prices so we know exactly what we're going to sell this month. Canola oil is going to be November, so we can do canola oil this month. And I believe there is one other thing. Was it eggs? Eggs was high in November, so the diner is where we want to get eggs. So we get canola oil and the eggs prepped and ready to go. Pulling up to the diner here with 18,000 liters of canola oil and 5,700 liters of eggs. Should be a pretty good sailing day in November. Let's see what we get here. We're sitting at 14,400 right now. Oh, look at that skyrocket. Canola oil. Oh, that was a good decision. Blown away. Can we get to 150? We did. Can we get to 160? Can we? Not quite. So 157. Well, maybe we do. Oh, 158. Oh, some decisions to make. So let's hop in here and let's pay off all of our loans. We'll get all that paid off so we're not in debt anymore. And we're going to have money left over. We're going to have $43,000 left over. This is rare. All right, let's take a look here. This trailer is worth $35,000. let us do it. So we're getting out of debt. We're moving along. We're getting out of debt. Soon enough, all of our profits or all of our money will be profits. Hopping forward to December now, the only real thing worth selling here at the diner is bread. So we got that brought over, 15,000 liters. We got all of it picked up from the bakery to make sure we had everything that's been produced so far this year. And that's going to get us up to maybe 100. Can we get to 100? Can we? 91,000. The environmental score is definitely helping. Let's take a look at these leases. We definitely want to keep this, so let's get rid of that. 17000 gone. That's okay. No more lease fees. And I think the spreader, let's purchase it as well. That puts us down to 30000 but we can upgrade that to be the spreader we want. We're using it a lot. Might as well keep it. Really, now I think I want to go find the straw because we have a lot of it. So the price is good this month, so we're going to go pick up the straw and sell that and see where we're sitting. That'll probably be the last item we sell in December. Everything else is really going to fall into early in the year, in January and February, which we'll do next episode. Taking the first load here, it's pretty heavy. We got 20,000 or 201,000 liters here. Oh, some of these bales were used a little bit by the cows, so we'll get over here. We'll sell it. We'll see how much money we get for it. Ooh, that's not bad. 23,000 for that first group and another almost 6,000 plus 3,000 environmental score. We're sitting at 62,000. Let's rinse and repeat. Well, here we are, another 206,000 liters. So it should be a little less. Let's unstrap it and then it'll start selling here. Try to get it all in one go. Very nice. All right, 29,000 and 3,000. We're sitting at 94,000 ending year two. All right, we're in the positives. We don't owe anyone any money. Wait for the train. 
But that's going to wrap up this episode. Next episode, we'll probably get six months done in year three. We're going to try to speed up this series and get it wrapped up. I'm actually really itching to see if we can pull this off. So we're going to speed it up. If you're hanging out this long, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for me. It'll help out the channel a ton. And also maybe click on that little notif notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. I'm Socks Way Up. I'll catch you on the next episode. Hello everybody, welcome back to the New Holland Challenge. It's January, we got some sailing to do, and we need to take care of the animals and probably get some herbicide done too. All the fields are going to need sprayed for weeds, so we'll get that going. But first, we're going to take care of the sheep. Sheep are happy with that food, so we'll go ahead and head on back to storage and take a look at the prices. Soybeans are June, so that's a hard pass on that. Silage is January, it looks like now is the time to sell the silage. Honey would be next month. Seems like we will wait till February for that. Lettuce is looking like now is the time. Tomatoes are looking like now is the time. Close is April. All right, so let's go ahead and work on getting some of this out of here. All right, let's see how we do. It's starting to snow. Wow, about 60 grand. We are sitting at 154, which is nice. All right, so only 75,000 liters, which is a little less than desired for a sale here, but we will take a look and see what we get out of it, and we'll go from there. Oh, got two numbers. That's all right. Oh, 202. We are at 202,000. I think that wraps up our sales event of this year, which is a little concerning. We have till April when we get to sell all the clothes, which I want to head on over there and see if we have a few pallets to pick up. There we go. All right, let's just double check. All right, we're good there. Good here. All right, let's go now to find out our final total for January. Another 15,000. Almost 16. That's not bad. Well, we've made it to the store now, and it's time to get a sprayer because... We need to take care of weeds. And let's see how much this one is the lease. That's ah, not bad. All right, so we'll get that taken back home. We'll only use the herbicide we need because of this sprayer. I think it's worth it. See and spray should only see our spray when it sees weeds. So we can get the tractor to go straight here. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so it shouldn't use too much. It would be really cool if 2,000 liters was enough, but we will see. You know what? I'm a doofus. I didn't add the C spray to C uh, functionality to this uh, this implement. So uh, we're going to use a lot more herbicide than we need to. Ah, live and learn. Live and learn. Before we move any further into the year, I did want to get rid of the rest of this honey and get it sold because we kind of forgot and it's a little extra money. There's a lot sitting over there by our collector. So we'll get that turned in and I'm Honestly, I'm eyeing another field, so I'm hoping to get through here. Got everything set. The herbicide's done. We got one more field to do, just the big one, but I wanted to get this taken care of. We'll get a worker on that. Yeah, and then we'll get we'll get to March, most likely, and see how those prices are for clothing. And here we are. Just a little bit further. There we go. Shouldn't be too much money, but it's definitely worth it. Another, you know, 7000 there gonna be helpful well here we are trying to finish this last one with the 1100 liters that we have left in the tank i think we'll be able to get it sorted out but let's uh let's bust this out and see what happens well after a night of sleep we have to come in here and fill up the sheep and it's unfortunate that just sleeping overnight gets them down to zero health because the water runs out. The water is not the right compatible capacity for the amount of sheep that we have here. It's just a little bit of a design flaw. So let's look at the prices now. Clothes are on the rise. It looks like it'll be one more month. So their production is still, their health is zero because they're just eating grass, which doesn't make sense to me. So, but they are definitely old enough and they're not reproducing, I think, because of their health as well. So I think we might've screwed up a little bit there. We need to get some hay. Yeah, well, next time we cut the grass, I guess we'll do hay. We have enough, oof. Yeah, we'll, we'll sort that out. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I mean, that's a good amount of eggs, but 
We lost some product. All right, there's one. So now we have eight. If we could get nine, that would be amazing. Don't know. Let's look at the price. So we don't want to lose the price too much. It says it's still going up. So let's go ahead and we'll jump forward. We'll jump forward to 11 and we'll see. All right, we got the extra pallet and it is. it does seem like it is starting to decrease a little bit. I don't even want to try to do the math. We should be sitting at like 500,000 after this though. Should be able to make a decision on our next field pretty easily with this money, which means we're not that far off of making 5 million in the next three years. Let's see. 270 plus 30, yeah. We're at 517,000. Fooey! All right, let's go check on the sheep. Make sure they have water. Then take a nap, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be May already. It's like real life. All right, it is May, and I had the truck or the trailer just sitting there collecting everything. So we got a bunch of little guys here. We're gonna go take those over. We're gonna move everything around. Get organized. We're at five sixteen, five hundred and sixteen thousand. We got a little bit of spending to do. Not quite enough income to just stop spending at this point. We need to keep expanding the farm, get more fields, probably some more productions. This one I've been eyeing. We can't afford it. The yield looks pretty decent on it. This one says 11 acres. Let's see what's on it right now. It looks like, is it sunflower? Sunflower doesn't really help us or does it? Okay. We're going to do that. I was eyeing that field anyways. Probably after this harvest, we will turn that into corn moving forward. And then the other thing I wanted to look at was, are there any grass? Nine is grass. So if we bought nine as well, that would wipe out our cash. But we could get the mower headed on over there right away. Let's go visit our grain mill. And it is a decent sized field. It's real skinny and long, but it is a decent sized field to get grass out of. Let's see how it's looking. Fertilizing wise, fertilization. Um, Not great, but we could fix that. We'll have to get the precision farming stuff going. And then over here as well. Oh yeah, we're not gonna, we're gonna have to get these fields scanned. We're not gonna have money for that. Well, since this field's ready to harvest, there's no reason to worry about all of its precision farming quite yet. So we're going to go harvest this grass. We're going to cut the grass and got to decide what I want. I need a mixture of hay and silage from this and we need some straw. So we potentially did overdo a few things, but we'll go ahead and get this set up and get a worker working on this we'll do one headland i don't know how that's gonna work out but we'll give it a shot and we'll start from first waypoint get that going see how they do probably will miss a lot cutting with these this new holland equipment wish they had a different back attachment but it is what it is then we'll have to get the windrower over here to help actually oh that's good i'm glad they're cutting that spot so while I'm wrapping these up, I got to thinking, uh, we definitely don't want to use that mower anymore. Course play hasn't been able to figure it out. I can't figure it out. Regular workers can't figure it out. So we're going to go ahead and hop in here and we're not anything good here. We could buy that. That would be kind of cool, but that's distracting. Let's go in here and we'll go to our mowers. And we've been just kind of living with the fact that this one sucks, so we're gonna get rid of it. So that's 11,000. This cedar, we're, we're just not gonna use, so we'll sell that. As well, whoops. As well as this cultivator, we've been leasing, so we don't, we don't need those tools just sitting around wasting money and, and losing value. We could have gone and repaired them, but I figured since it's kind of iffy whether or not we should sell them in this challenge, went ahead and did it that way. So we're going to wrap up one more and then we're going to get the trailer and pick up the rest of the grass as is. Let this stuff turn to silage. 
and we'll kind of get a feel of how much grass and silage we need between the two the two animal farms animal pens well that's all the time we have for this episode thanks for hanging out i hope you're enjoying the new format of these videos if you haven't already hit that like subscribe button that'll help the channel out a lot and you won't miss out any of the episodes of the new holland challenge i'm socks way up i'll catch you on the next one hello and welcome back to the new holland five million dollar challenge we've gotten all of our little chores done for the morning it's time to start the wheat harvest so we're gonna drop this off and then get going with that but it's time to get in the harvester and take it over to the first field that we're gonna do and get a cracking at this you know, I've been doing some research and trying to figure out exactly how close we are to making this 5 million, and I don't think it's going to happen. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to make a huge mistake, potentially. And that's what this series has been all about. All right, so we have a $500,000 loan. We have $17,000 to our name. Let's go to here. I know this is something that will definitely help us out. It is corn. So we're going to buy this huge plot of land. And that leaves us at $178,000. This one's barley. It's going to help as well. We're going to buy that. So now we're sitting at $48,000. Figured we'd start with this field and see how the yield's doing here. And this will at least get us a few loads, hopefully, of the trailer, or at least one. Ooh, we don't want to do that. Why is that on? All right, let's see how the yield does. It seems a little different than last time. I, I just wish this field was green. This isn't the best soil for this. Everything was in perfect condition as far as precision farming is concerned. But let's find out how we do. All right, 4,800 liters. We want to take this over to the grain mill and get flour producing again. And then by the time we get back, they should be pretty close to being done, and we'll know how we did on this field. It's hard to tell at this point. It feels like it's doing better, but I don't know if the rolling and mulching was actually worth it. Doesn't seem like it at this point. I don't think we'll be leasing those again. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and get that tipped. While that's tipping, oh, if we can get up here. Let's jump up. We'll go back into this production. We'll get flour activated. So 6,000 a month times five. That's not a lot. Or that's not a, we didn't, we didn't add much. So we need a lot more to produce a lot more flour. All right, moving on to the next field. We're just getting the harvest started here. I'm gonna do the headland, probably two loops of it. And then we'll hand it off to a worker. I know because of these trees, we're definitely gonna have to do two headlands on this side. And then because of the hill over there, we might have to do it as well. So I might just get up there and loop, do the top, come back, and, and get it going. Well, because the yield seems so good, I'm going to go ahead and drop this off and do the other headlands. Uh, yeah, this is looking very promising. So the ideal here would be more than two full loads of this trailer. So I believe we got two full ones last time. So let's hop back in here, close the auger. And we'll loop around, do the other headlands, and then we'll hand off to a worker so we can multitask, potentially doing some baling as well while the harvest is happening. We're dropping off this first load of wheat for the field by the cows. It's definitely doing pretty good. We hit the roof there. And we are 80% full, so we're going to have to rush back and hopefully not lose too much time with the worker, but I, I think we, we're going to be late might be enough you know ignore us with the lack of crop destruction on we we're going to do a bad thing here but this might be enough to get a whole nother load it would be nice to get another thirty-two thousand liters we will see oh we got our second load full here so we're going to take that and drop it off while the harvester finishes there's a couple areas we might clean up but i don't think i'm going to bring the trailer back we'll just have the Harvester bring the wheat back over. We'll put that away just for the chickens a little bit that it has in it. All right, dropping this 32,000 liters off. And we take a peek in here. And we should be sitting over 60,000. So that should give us, you know, a couple months. It won't give us the full year. I think we need like 300,000 or something to do the full year. So that'll be good. In a couple months time, we'll have this barley to add as well. So we'll have multiple types of flour coming in. All progressing in the right direction, I think. All right, 5,000 liters of soybeans. Let's uh, let the game save and see where the best price is. It is declining. Um, Denton Bakery. 
Pop right here, and it should, yeah, sell soybeans. Let's see what we get for it. Should be about 15 grand. Yeah, 16,000. Welcome to August. I think this is going to be a very busy month. We got four fields to harvest. I don't know how the output's going to be on these. We're going to do these ones first. The smaller two here, or the smallest one. And so far, the yield... Something about the yield this year is just not as good as last year. And the difference is we mulched and rolled, and it's having the opposite effect. Very interesting. But we're going to bust this out and uh, see how we're doing, get our canola oil back up and running. Or at least our factory over there. Not bad. Not bad. Well, first field's done. 6,100 liters. So we'll go ahead. We're right by the silo. So we'll drop this off and then we'll go to the other field and get started. Ah, uh, they missed a little bit. Not enough for me to worry about, though, I don't think. Let's see. I was able to sneak in here without the header on. Let's see if we can do it with the header on. Might get some friction here when we run into it. Not bad. Oh, that's not where we want it to go, though. All right, that's going. We'll hop over here, and we'll get canola oil activated again. So that should get us some good canola oil. We got two more fields to get canola from. So hopefully we did better than last year with canola, but we also have sunflowers coming soon. So we'll get sunflower oil as well. There we go. And this one was our good yielding field. So hopefully we get that nice green color again. And it's a little bit lighter this year too. Very strange. Not sure what I did or if it's just the year. So when you're thinking about money, I do know we need to lease a few things, but I think I prefer to go ahead and pay off as much as possible. We'll keep, yeah, we'll keep it at 4,500. That should get us through the next few months. We'll take out loans if we need to, but that puts us at 445 as our debt. I definitely feel like by the end of this calendar year, we'll be out of debt, uh, if not by like March. And then it's the last two years to try to make two and a half million a year. Gonna be honest with you, at this point, I think we're gonna fail this challenge. I think we'll get close, but I don't think we'll make five million. All right, another field done. We got 6,000 liters in here, and I believe about 7,000 liters in the trailer already. Let's not stop on the tracks just in case the train comes. That should fill it up. But yeah, let's hop in here and see where we're, we're sitting. Yeah, not bad. Just doesn't feel as good as last year, so my concern increases. This field, we will have to do some harvesting ourselves. We won't be able to have the workers do everything. And, you know, we're losing money from the workers, so maybe we should be doing a lot of this ourselves. But we'll do a couple of headlands here, or a couple of these passes this direction. Not necessarily the entire headland. And then do the same up at the top of the field, so that the workers can take over. This field's definitely looking to yield a little bit better than the last time, last field, which I, is, I find very confusing. You can hear my stuttering in my voice. We thought that new field was pretty awesome last time. And now this one seems to be a lot better. We're already going to be well above 13,000 like we got from the other field. A little bit to go. Ah, call me confused. I don't know what's going on here. At this point, it's feeling like a good thing we busted out these three fields because we have the larger barley field left. So this one gave us 22,000 liters. We're going to drop this off at the oil mill. And then we're going to take the harvester over to the barley field and get started on that. You can see we've been cutting grass in the background as well. Oops. Getting our third field cut right now so we can decide then. I think all of the grass here we're going to turn into hay. And then at the other one we're going to do the same thing we did last time where we split it in half with silage and grass. Well, here's the first look at the barley field. I think there might be enough room on both sides to turn around so we shouldn't have to worry about a headland here. But let's uh, let's get harvesting and yeah, let's turn the map on just to see yellow. Yeah, we didn't do anything to these fields. So I don't expect the yield to be too good for this field and the corn field that we purchased late. So yeah, having it around, yeah, 50% yield that's not going to be great, but it'll be a little extra. And this was an investment for the next two years, not necessarily this year. 
So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to hand this off to a worker, though. We're going to go check on our canola. 40,000, about 41,000 liters. It's probably already processed a few, so I'm sure we did get above 40,000. It's almost got its first oil all prepared for us. That's exciting. Let's take this over so it can do work with the barley. Even though we're going to be dropping that off at the mill directly, but we'll get that over there just to help out with the speeding up the process. Even though the yield's bad, the size of this field should still turn out a good amount of product. Next year when we decide what to plant here, we should really see our return on investment with it though. But let's go ahead and help it out here. And we'll get this done and we'll rejoin you in a few. Decided to go ahead and drop this off and get the barley processing. I know we're gonna run out of material before the year's over, but we might as well speed this up and get as much flour as possible going and we can catch up with the harvester. We won't lose any time here. That should help. Let's go ahead and top up here. And grab barley and activate that as well. So we should be double dipping with our flour being produced. And I do feel like we might run out of time eventually to produce all the bread but we'll see we'll have to do that as well or take a look we might want to look into cakes as well and see what we have missing to make cakes well we got the barley field done and we'll hop out here drop off this last load and see how we did only 1400 on this last one. Oh, we have it still running we'll get this shut off but then we'll jump into the production and see how our numbers are looking this field's gonna be perfect especially once we take care of it and get it all up to Updated, get the precision farming stuff all up to snuff. It's going to be great. So let's see. Yeah, 42,000. We talked about, I think we said 42,000 was the goal. Oh, 43,000. Beautiful. Well, unfortunately, our recording got corrupted the rest of the way. So we're going to end the episode here. Thanks for hanging out. The only thing you missed was a little bit of bailing. Again, if you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe button. It helps out the channel a ton. Super excited to see how this channel has been growing. And I thank each and every one of you for helping out with that. Welcome back to the New Holland Challenge. We're finishing up year three in this episode and probably getting into a little bit of the spring as well. So you can see our money. We're sitting at negative 2,700. I got a little bit of milk here. We're going to go find the dairy that we can sell this to. See how our money is at that point. We might have to take some loans out just to get us through the harvest planting season. We got a lot of maintenance to do on our fields. Yeah, let's get started. So it looked like the waffle shop was the top place for milk. Let's go see what we get. Hopefully about six, mm, seven thousand. All right, we have arrived. Let's go ahead and see. Look at that. We're in the positives. All right, cows paying off. About 8,000 there almost. Since we're in such a pickle here, I figured we would sell our silage that we have. The interest is really killing us on these loans, so taking out more loans would really hurt us. That's going to help there. Back up to 40,000 almost. That should be enough, I hope, to get us by with leasing costs for the rest of the year. At least it might be. We took out the rest of the lime that we had in storage. Let's see how far that would get us. We're going to do a little bit of a power lime session right now we'll start with this grass field we'll see how far 6,000 liters gets us that's what we had left in inventory and we'll we'll see i'll let you know in a few how we did well, it looks like we got just enough to finish off the first three fields so we'll have to get some more lime to do the rest and i think we will do that now now hopefully this lime doesn't hurt us too much purchasing it let's see 2300 that's really not bad so we'll go ahead and we'll do the two fields near here and then the other grass field and we'll make our way over to the other large wheat field. But that we might hold off until later to even prep for harvesting because I got some plans for that that don't really involve needing to be planted anytime soon. So now that we have all of the lime and some of the areas that we need fertilizer, the grass fields we got fertilized, it's time to plant some canola. We got three fields that we're gonna do with that. And then we got a few fields that we're gonna do wheat. And then we're gonna replant barley in the new field by the flour mill. Lots to do still here in September. That didn't take very long to get all of the canola planted. So we're gonna head on over to our new barley field. We're gonna get barley replanted there. Should be setting us up pretty good. I'm excited about this field because we've treated it with lime. We're going to get fertilizer in it and seeds. Let's see how the numbers look. Look at that red turn to green. 
Oh man, yeah, that's exciting. Gonna use a lot of fertilizer. We're probably gonna have to go buy some more. We got the rest out of storage already. We're fresh out. We got a little bit of seeds left in storage, but as far as fertilizer, we are out at this point. Barley is all set. I've decided we're gonna head back and do the wheat field this month. We're gonna do plant them all in September just to save a little bit of cash on the lease. Might regret it when it comes time to harvest, but I think a couple of these crops grow at different rates, so we should be okay. And it shouldn't take too long to do the wheat. Yeah, and then we can get to the sunflower harvest, which is what I'm really looking forward to this episode. You can see we got the fields all finished and planted. We got all of our wheat put in, our barley, canola. We might do oats. I haven't decided yet. I just feel like we need a little bit more for the flour mill. That's a street light. But I do want to do a lot of corn next year, so... That's why we're holding off on the rest of the field, still deciding what we're gonna do. No more space for wool? That just happened. So we are at full capacity for what we're producing each month for wool now, which soon we might want to start thinking about possibly selling wool or getting like a second fabric factory. Oh my goodness, things to think about. But let's take all of this, should be a lot, 8,000 liters. We'll go ahead and take that to the factory. We'll pick up our bread, do all of our morning chores, and then we'll get started on the sunflower harvest. First time ever for me, I'm excited. All right, let's go ahead and lease the header. And I think we're gonna have to go with this one. So it's gonna make for a long harvest. Do that. Uh, and then, does this work? Let's see, seems to. Wanna also rent. Well, let's take a look. Let's go here and we'll go across the street. I wanna see these fields. I think we wanna do a weeder. Save money on product here. This says, oh, let's check one more. I'm over here, oh, okay. What are those under? Weeder, some hose, weeder. Go with that one, 2,600 to lease. And we're gonna have to do some workers watching our money at 12,000. We should be okay. Oh, that's that's not gonna work. Okie dokie, well, we'll send you home. 260 seems to be able to handle it. We might wanna put a front weight on. We'll see. What does this look like? That's mean, nice. That's gonna get the job done real fast. I think we're gonna use a regular worker and not course play for this. I've been noticing course play has been charging me, which I don't know why. Let's see, all right, is that gonna do it? It seems to be working, let's just check. Yes, it is, okay. All right, we'll let that worker continue on. And here, hey look, we have a hay bale. So first thing we're gonna do is put that there like that we'll just leave that there for now and we're holding up traffic we'll get this ready i'm super excited about this we'll go ahead go like right here to give us some more room and we'll go get the trailer with this tractor and it might have been a good idea to get more than one trailer but we don't really have the cash to do that right now i hope this one can pull and it's full we'll find out yeah all right. And again, this harvest is not going to be as good as it could have been because we didn't do the lime. We didn't do fertilization on this field. It is what it is. It's going to be a lot of extra oil to produce. And my goodness, this field is huge. Wow. Yeah, see you in a week. So we got a little bit from the harvest. 4,000 per... Oh, man. Look how huge this thing is. Yeah, we're going to go get the oil mill going with the sunflower oil just to get the production going for that so we can maximize the results on that. And I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment. Go ahead and come over here and sunflower oil activate. So we got two types of oil coming out now for a little bit while we still have canola in there. We actually have a good amount of canola left. Nice, nice. All right, let's get back. Now, before we get back, you just decided to stop, I guess, with a little bit left to do. So we'll finish that up. Flower harvest, we got 126,000 liters. That's going to produce a lot of sunflower oil for us. It's looking good. After getting the sunflowers all done, it's time to take care of the corn. And this is another big field. Luckily, it seems to be doing pretty good yield-wise so far. Let's see. It's still yellow. Again, this is the same situation as, as the sunflower field is. This one will yield much better next harvest. This one we purchased. It wasn't completely hard or it wasn't completely limed. It wasn't completely fertilized so we'll take care of it we'll get our precision farming score up on this field as well 
And next harvest will be much better. We will probably have to rent a cultivator, though, for both of these fields. And I'm thinking for the one by the cows as well. I think we're going to do a lot of corn next year. I think so. But let's we'll bust this out. We'll see how it is. We'll probably drop most of this off at the grain mill to make some corn flour. We'll go ahead and pick up our first load here and get the flour mill operational. Let's see how we're doing. Two passes. Go ahead and empty this out. Hopefully it'll stop at the end so we can get all of it. Oh, I'm gonna stop right there apparently. That'll work. Not bad, 6,700. We'll go ahead and take that to the mill. Get it operational, like I said. And then we'll do full loads after that. Here we go. Some beautiful corn. Look at that. All right, let's hop on over here. And corn flour. Go ahead and activate that. And still distributing. The bread's looking good. All right. I guess we should head back. Dropping off the last load of corn. We'll see how we're sitting here. We're going to have to find a farmer to make a deal with to get some butter because uh, we don't have that ability. And I think we're going to have to pay a premium for that. All right. Dropping off the last 23,000 liters. So corn, we did great. We did, we did really good. Let's let it finish and then we'll look at the number. It has already processed some 152,000 liters right now. Oh uh, yeah, so bread, the cornbread needs some butter. So that will be our next task. We have 9,300 bucks. Let's do some research on that. Maybe we'll trade milk for butter. Maybe we look at butter. It says we can buy it for 960, 973, but what we're gonna say is 3,000 per liter so we are going to do this live so you can see it we're going to go to is this an alphabetical order let's go to butter put it all butter one two three so we got three pallets here and we said we're going to pay a premium so now we'll go back in here and we're going to go remove nine thousand dollars and good thing we're selling things next month because we are broke but we'll go deposit this we'll see how long it lasts us but we'll do a three thousand each moving forward and again that's the premium that i want to you know charge myself so that we're keeping it somewhat legit role playing that we're buying it from another farmer and if i'm not mistaken this is the location here to drop these off look at that there we go so now we can go into our production and plenty of butter see how long that lasts us we'll go ahead and activate that Yes. What just stole our money? Activating it? Now, these sheep have been keeping us really busy, so I did notice that some of them are selling for a lot of money. I can find those ones. What just happened? Oh, here, wait. 610, they were just a 1,000. Let's slow down time here for a second here. We are broke, so we are going to come in here and find the ones that are worth the most. And did they just drop again? They did for... Oh, okay. Okay, so now we know. Okay, but let's select 10 here. We'll sell those. And yeah, we'll have plenty of time to get them back. 460, we just lost a lot of money though. Let's see if we have any other ones that are that old. These ones are one month. We had some that just were just born apparently. Or the demand changes. I don't know that. But I think 26 months. Yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. I was looking at it in this view and they were just showing a thousand dollars so we uh just missed out barely so we're at eight thousand and that'll do it for october looks like we got a little bit of cornbread i'll have to take a look at that we'll get these loaded on first so i'll take a look at the cornbread here in a second there it is butter cornbread very very exciting let's see if these will go in the in the storage or not lots of it actually look at how full it is lovely so it looks like today we're going to be selling the canola oil and the eggs get all these up on the trailer. So 21,000 liters of eggs and 12,000 liters of canola oil, which we still have more to get produced. So we did good with canola this this go around. Eggs sell slow, so this is gonna take a minute. 172,000 is where we're sitting, not too bad. Let's hop into our loans and we'll, we'll knock a good chunk of this out. Let's hang out with about 30, yeah, 30,000 here. So we do have some things to lease. What did that put our loan at? 300, 305,000 to go in debt. We got this. Well, I'm a doofus and I shut off the recording. We just sold 41,000 liters of bread. And if we look in here, we got $216,000 from it. Now our debt is down to 75,000. Awesome. And we have 31,000 in the bank just to keep us covered. We might have some leases we have to do. Not bad. We got to just check on all the animals and then 
see what's happening in January. Canola oil is still good. Would it make sense to grab the canola oil we have and sell that? I think it might. Canola oil. See if there's any more. Nope. We still got a lot to go through. 12,000 liters. Not bad. And we'll grab these eggs as well and head back to the diner. Another 22,000. So let's go back in here and we'll pay off four more of these. Sitting at 55,000 in debt, right around the corner, we'll start climbing to that 5 million. So I think we're about to get out of debt still in December, which is exciting because I double checked the prices and lettuce was starting to decline. So we decided to sell the lettuce now. And I also noticed that cornbread was at its peak. So we picked up the rest that we had and a little bit of bread that was left over at the factory. We're just heading on over to the diner now to see if we got enough money to get out of debt. Let's see, out of debt again. Oh, absolutely. We are in the green once again. Let's see what our total is. That was 96,000 plus 7,000, pretty fancy. Let's go here and we have, we're out of debt and we have $72,000. You can see our money is a little different than it was last clip. Um, we're gonna come get all this milk. Hopefully we have a lot. Let's see, yeah, 3,000. We're gonna just drive down the road a little bit. Oh yeah, we plowed some fields too, are cultivated. All the fields are prepped. All right, and we are to the dairy and we deposit our milk here and we'll hop on in. There we go. And we are just gonna make, we're gonna deactivate cheese. We don't want that. And butter, we do want to distribute. So that should sort it out. It's not gonna be a ton. Actually, yeah, it'll be close to 3000, but we did that because we go back into the productions. We had to deactivate our cornbread. Unfortunately, we are full. Flour's getting there. It's bu it's busting through that flour fast. So that's going to be fine. This is going to get backed up soon because of it. Flour for bread's good. Yeah, it's going to pay for itself pretty quickly. We're still out of debt. Get me out of here. 13,000 liters of wool. We might need to start talking about storing it. Let's look at that production, actually. They have 21,000 liters there. We're gonna have to do some math. We are in year four now. We're gonna have to do some math to make sure we don't lose out on selling wool and that can't get turned into fabric. So we had so many pallets to sell this month that we're gonna have to do two trips. But everything, luckily, is going to the diner. Seems to be the normal process for us. So we'll do that and see where we're sitting. And I'll update you after the second trip. All right. So like we are on our way to 5 million, but very slowly. Kind of like selling tomatoes. Another 23,000 there. About 20... Yeah, about 23,000. We're sitting at 113,483. No more productions to buy. I think we're set. Just got to start managing everything around the farm and the productions to hopefully penny push to get to that 5 million number. I think that's going to do it for this episode. This one might have been a little longer. Sorry if I cut out a lot of content, uh, but I will catch you on the next one. I appreciate every single one of you. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. I, it'll help the channel out a lot. Have a good one. Welcome back to the New Holland Challenge. We are deep into year four. We're finishing up some of the selling that we have to do. And then next, we unveil the secret plan to get to $5 million. You can see here, we already have a lot of things prepped to sell. These were all at good prices in f March and are all good at the diner. So let's get them sold and see how it goes. Well, $141,000. We'll take every penny of it. Some of the things I did off camera was I got lime done on the three fields that we're going to plant today. And to unveil our little secret plan, we're gonna do corn. And we're going to do silage from the corn on all three of those fields for two years in a row. That's my mad plan to get $5 million. Year four and five, silage time. Where are we at percentage? Yeah. So we were gonna wait until April to sell the clothes, but I noticed while I was starting to skip time the prices are dropping so we're gonna head on over to the diner and get these sold and make it april so this is the big money ticket and i was a little worried that we only have eight thousand liters we should have twelve thousand liters but we're not producing it as fast as i thought so that's why the silage has always been in our back pocket for those three large fields in corn let's get this sold we'll make it april and we'll get to planting well we're 10 percent of the way there we're at $500,000, not bad. So cornbread, sunflower oil, bread and clothes are still at a good price. So we're gonna sell what we have and I'm hoping this puts us over 600,000. That would be 
That'd be pretty cool. It almost put us to 700,000. Look at that, $642,000 to our name. We got a little bit of money to lease some tools that we need for right now. So with our rules, we have to lease New Holland's when available. I think we're gonna go with, we need about 350 horsepower. Uh, let's see what this one is, 350. We lease it 14,000. All right, so we got the money. Now we go into planters. This one is 17, a little bit bigger. It can do both. Tells here, we'll lease that another 12,000. And yeah, we're gonna have to get some product too. So we'll see what we can fill up here with what we brought over on the trailer. Let's get this hooked up though. And we can start with the field right behind us. It's a big tractor. I'm a doofus. This takes liquid fertilizer. So we'll get this pallet out of the way. And we'll have to buy some. We'll leave the trailer there. This should be enough once we fill this up to do the first field, I hope. And then we can use the trailer to move everything around for us to the next field. So we don't have to keep coming back to the shop. This is a big piece of equipment. Let's watch this thing unfold. Pulling the tractor back, wow. That's ginormous. Set to corn like we want it. Go ahead and lower it. Turn it on. Oh yeah. Not bad. Taking care of the fertilizer and the seed at the same time. Oh, the seed rate is super low. That's good. Fertilizer, not so much. We're going to go through a lot of fertilizer, it looks like. And we got three fields. This is the smallest of the three. So we should learn a little bit by doing this one. Let's go ahead and raise it. Go ahead and flip it around since this beast is so big. We'll do the two headlands here, and then we should be able to do the same in the back and get this all done. Well, that's one of three done. Let's take a look and see what we got left in here. Not bad. We will go through all that fertilizer, I think, between the next two fields, so I don't think it was a waste. But we'll get this thing filled up and taken over to the big boy, and we'll do that one next. Here we go, field number two. Well, after a lot of grinding, we're gonna get the corn finished here. We got this last little strip and I think, yeah, we got plenty of plenty of fertilizer, plenty of seed left. This uh, lease, I think, really paid off. It would have taken us a lot longer to do this without leasing it. Kind of see over in the distance, we got some workers going. There it is. There they are, taking care of the grass for us. And finished. Beautiful. All right, let's fold this up. We're gonna take it over to we're gonna take it over to our supply trailer, and we'll have that. Wow, why is this struggling? There it goes. And we'll drop off all the goods here, and then we'll return the leases. We don't want to lose a little bit of seed so that we can use it next year. And I think our tether is done up there. Wind rowing's going good. Yeah. Making lots of progress, very nice. Go ahead and we'll drop everything out there. And then we can go into this menu and we don't need these anymore. So let's return them, very nice. All right, we'll get this new Holland out of the way here so that the wind rower can finish doing its job. And then it's time to bale all the hay and deliver it to the cows. The only thing left to do before harvest season is going to be weeding the corn fields and then prepping these grass fields again for another harvest. Moving quickly. Well, I'm hoping 120,000 liters of hay will last these cows a long time. They are starting to, they are starting to reproduce a lot more. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if we can find, we need to clean this area up. We really do. It's a mess. We'll clean that up soon. And in case I forgot to finish my thought there, they're starting to reproduce. So I'm hoping that's enough food for them for a little while. I'm hoping we can get till maybe this time next year and we only have to do one more hay cut for them so we can maximize the money Ooh -hoo -hoo. we'll see just double checking the status of this field we could see our little little bit of corn starting to sprout here look at that 
Beautiful. All right, so we're going to go Lisa Ho and take care of all three of these fields again. And we'll be prepped for all of our harvest this year at that point. Weeders, let's see. Weeder, weeder, ho. Weeder, weeder. So the biggest hoe is nine meters wide. So we'll go ahead and lease that one. No weight required. Let's see when we unfold it, just to be sure. Yeah, the 260 should be able to handle this. Feels like it's lifting a little bit. No, should be good. Hold it up so we can get through the trees. And we'll see how this works. Looks like it's working perfect. Oh, these fields are going to be so nice. Such good stuff here. Yep, I think we will need to do the headland, though. Just to be safe. Oh, as we damage all of our crops, driving backwards like a moron. All right, we'll get this done, and uh, it'll be time to... Oof. Next episode, I think we're really going to find out how close we're going to be to to making this 5 million. But let's get this done. We still got a little bit to do this episode. Dropping off a little bit of milk while we're doing weeding. Got to keep getting the butter produced. And let's make sure we start... We're producing... Oh, I forget where the trigger is. Where's the trigger? We were producing cheese, but I think that was a mistake because we didn't get any cheese out of it. Um, cheese is... Yeah. Maybe we do one more of those and hope to get one liter of cheese so we don't waste all that but let's go ahead and take this tanker back to the sheep where it's uh, needed the most well this is all we have left to get our grass fields prepped for the next harvest of grass it's not bad we did the liming already we did the the bigger field we did liming and fertilizer so this should be good and we left our our smaller field over there alone we did not harvest that this time which maybe that was a mistake but I think we have plenty of grass, and I think we'll be okay. And also, while I'm recording this, we just hit a 1,000 subscribers while recording. What a day. Thank you so much, everyone who's checking out these videos. I hope you're enjoying this series as well. I know the RP series are doing a little bit better, but I have a blast making all of them, and I hope you're enjoying them as well. Thank you, each and every one of you, for hitting our goal for the year already. And it's just the middle of May. I'm honestly overwhelmed. Thank you so much. Well, that mm, was possibly a mistake. But we got it done. Next time, we probably will use herbicide. It's too big of a field to use this small of equipment. So we got that all taken care of, though. And these fields should be real nice and prepped for the harvesting. And the first one we're going to harvest is the barley field. I believe that will be in June. So you can see we have 12,000, almost 13,000 liters of wool on the trailer, and we did not drop it off at the spinnery. Let's show you why. If we jump into production change, you see fabric wool, we produce 1,400 times two a month. 1,440 times two a month is 2,880 times 16 is 46,000. We have 16 months, we have about 18 months, but 16 months worth I think would be good. And then as of November of next year, we'll be done producing fabric. That gives us December to produce the clothes. And that will do it for what we're going to be, you know, needing in fabric. Or we'll be able to produce some fabric in this playthrough. So that means that we're kind of done with clothing at that point. So the rest of this wool is going to get sold. Let's go ahead and pick up the bread. Drop off this butter as well. So we can get the corn bread back up and running. And we do have one pallet of cheese. Very cool. And it was able to take all the butter. Good, 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 good. So that means, did we deactivate that? Let's go back in here. Cornbread is activated. And we still have some stored in the mill, so that's good. And we'll get all of these put on, finish our chores, and figure out what's next. Well, this is one month worth of production on the farm. And I would say we've built a pretty, pretty awesome farm at this point. A lot of productions and it's going to pay off i think i hope in the next 18 months <laughs> but that's going to do it for this episode we're going to drop this off we're going to finish off doing a little bit more of our chores around the farm and get the make sure all the animals are taken care of and start our harvest i'm debating skipping a little bit of those harvests not skipping them but doing them off camera 
since we've done so many of those in this series and we're gonna have grass to cut again in july but in june we will head on over let's go ahead and but in june we will not be harvesting the barley we'll have to skip to july for that i thought it was going to be ready we take a look at the map here we have we're ready to harvest we have nothing but everything is dark green so yeah 24 19 13 12 and 14 are all going to need harvested so we might do those off camera like i said and skip directly to the corn harvest for the next episode we've done a lot of harvesting in this series so that's what i'm thinking i'm socks way up i'll catch you on the next episode welcome back to the new holland challenge today we're gonna find out our fate and if we're gonna be close to this five million dollars i know we still have a year left after this episode let's jump right into it so we've already prepped a few things and as i mentioned at the end of last episode we've harvested all of our fields so it's time to just get this prepped and i think what i want to do on this one is initiate follow me i can remember how engine started follow me there now i need to open up the menu distance right control w so we want to do about five but then we want to do about probably six actually let's go even with it and we'll go six over to the right and then now let's hop in here i will need to unfold it oh no 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 we need to change and unfold that Still didn't do it. Unfold pipe first. Oh, like that. Now, yep, it sees the truck. Let's go ahead and I don't think, let's stop, let's stop. Can we stop, please? Stop pushing me, please. We will do over just a little bit more. Offset, we'll go right control. We'll go about 10 and see how that works. And is 10 gonna work? Seems like it is. We got our additive additive added. Let's see if I can get this thing going straight. Boy, that's filling up fast too. And this is the small field. But this is where I get a little confused on how follow me is gonna react when we start doing these turns. Oh boy. Crazy driver. Oh, he's going to try to do that whole turnaround, isn't he? Isn't he? And please uh, don't mess me up. Oh, this is comical. This is comical. Stop. Yeah, I, I don't I don't doubt. <laughs> it, it's uh, right control F. Turn it back on. Right control F and engaged. Okay. So the turns are a little tricky. We'll get used to it, we'll get adjusted. But my goodness, I'm wondering if our silage pit's gonna be big enough because we got, this is our smallest field. This is our smallest field. 59 and a half thousand liters pretty much is what we have. This is a big pit. I think it'd probably be best to start at this end. I'm not sure. Not the biggest uh, user of silage pits, but we'll uh, we'll give this a shot. And a lot of rinse and repeat, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a long day. Well, we had some issues getting stuck, and I think what we're going to want to do is compact this as we go. I'm going to get one of the tractors over here and give that a shot. Went ahead and leased a compactor to see if that will help. Never used one of these. This will be interesting. I don't know if we need a weight or not, or if this should be on the front. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. I've never used one of these before. Unfold. Do we lower it? Yeah. And then I guess, whoops. I'm going to get that off of there. Does it turn on or is it, it might automatically be on, I think. That doesn't seem to be doing much. Maybe, maybe let's try it in the back and see if that's better. Well, that says it's compacted 100% now. I think I want to get it down a little bit more. It seems to be letting me. And we probably need to do a little bit better about spreading it out as we add it because this was kind of a pain. And see, we already have 178,000 liters in here and we're just getting started. We'll be well over a million when we get done at this rate. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this nice and smooth and then each time we bring a truckload, we'll have to keep flattening it out. Oh man, it's gonna be a long one. All right, the truck was able to drive over it, which is what I was concerned with because I am not very good at backing up. 
So we'll go ahead and drop that off here and we'll compact it again. And then I think at this point, we're going to jump forward a little bit because it's a lot of rinse and repeat. And like I said, it's gonna be a long day. I don't think uh, I have enough memory on my hard drive to record all this. So we're gonna have to skip a few a little bit. Hopefully nothing hilarious happens that we miss though. We'll catch up with you in a few. It'll be really fast for you though. Well, we got about eight truckloads in here. Got that field done. I'm just compacting this and I think we might look for a uh, silage production maybe because this is gonna take forever. Yeah, I mean, we got, what is it? 470,000 liters in here and it's just the small field and both of those fields are at least twice the size that we have left. Yeah, we need to find another way to store this, I think. So we're talking maybe 3 million liters. Let's raise this up. That's probably good. And I think since we're going to do that, let's go ahead and we'll cover this bad boy. Oh man, a little bit of spillage, not too bad. We are going to head on over to the other fields, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, set up follow me for that so we can get over there and possibly build a plan when we get there. So we've installed this uh, mod here. If we take a look at it, the silage factory, and the problem is going to be the uh, cycles per month are not going to be very helpful. We'll go through 24,000 liters of silage a month, and that's unfortunately gonna be probably the best thing that we can do. We've already refilled the additive a few times, or once so far. But yeah, it's time to get started on this which is the biggest field i believe yeah it's gonna be a monster still yellow on the yield which isn't great yeah i'll see you in a few hours so that was a long grind and i think we're gonna get planted canola here it's the last opportunity we're gonna do this field and the field to the left there for canola and then the other two fields will do some wheat to make sure we have product for the chickens but let's go ahead, I'll put this on a worker temporarily and we'll take a look at the productions to see how much silage we're gonna potentially have. So this was from the big field. We have 2.9 million. I don't know if we're gonna be able to produce it in time. I might've made a huge mistake. The other field we have 1.7 million. You can see it's already produced 52,000 here, 50,000 there. It's catching up. So that's, um potentially yeah i it, we might have made a mistake but i think we'll be okay we're getting lime going on these two fields for our canola and well, we're gonna keep pressing forward i'm gonna take over for this worker here so we can get this done quicker Make sure that's on yep there we go it's getting late too and playing at a slow pace too what a grind we'll not do that again Will not. And boy, is it getting dark. The canola on both fields is going to be all established and planted at this point. It's time to sleep, do our chores, get the wheat going next month, and sell eggs and canola oil, I believe. Lots of chores to do before that, though. We'll, we'll cut ahead. All right, so it's full. Picked up all the stuff in November, and we're completely full here. So we're going to come here, and we know we want all the canola oil. So we'll grab all that. Oh, we want those, too. We want the eggs. And we want the canola oil, so we'll find the rest of that. And then the rest of the eggs. And that should be it. Now we just got to load all of these up. Just in time for being full time to sell everything not bad so about 19,000 liters of eggs and 16,000 liters of canola oil let's head on over to the bakery should be a pretty good profit here we dipped just below 400,000 which is kind of concerning but let's see where we get after this hundred and you know a good amount there we almost to 600,000 again so we just got to take care of a couple wheat fields and then we'll be able to sell bread next month oh it's stuck good it's stuck good and so am I Well, it's December and it's time to sell all of this 33,000 liters of bread and the little bit of leftover that we had of canola oil and eggs since the prices are still pretty good for those. Let's see where we're sitting after this. It's the highest we've been. $821,000 to our name. And we only have a little bit left to lease. It's all gonna be profit soon. Wow, almost all our lettuce and tomatoes almost got us to a million. We'll go back and get the rest and see where we're at before we start a huge silage sale. And another 4,000, almost 5,000. 
All right, it's time to rent some equipment to help us get the silage out of the pit. We'll head on over there and I'll meet you in a second. All right, let's uncover this and then we'll see if this is gonna work. I think you might have to, we might have to do a combo of a few of these because we want this. Gosh, I don't even know how to use these. Can we extend this thing? So if it's like that, our truck would have to back up. Yeah, we'll loop around. Oh, that didn't work. All right, so now, honestly, I have no idea. Mm, it's working. Oh, joy. That's interesting. Okay, so now we just line this up correctly and we can really bust through this, maybe. There we go, slowly but surely. All right, stop. Why it stop? This glitch seems like we've lost 200,000 liters already. We do have some in here. Why did this stop? Why did it stop? Did it move forward a little bit? Hmm. It's not full, but like, not happy? Interesting. Did you steal a bunch? Why is this so complicated? Oh, okay, so this thing's full. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, we found it. We found it. Now it's just going to take forever to fill up because it's slow. Well, this is still much easier than using a front loader or anything with a bucket and filling it up a hundred times. I can, I can be patient and wait. This is awesome. All right, we'll get one full here. We'll go see what the money is and we'll rinse and repeat. It's going to be a long one. And there we go, 59.40. So if I did my math right, it should be about eight trips uh, just with this bunker. So let's see what we get from one. And hopefully the price doesn't change too much throughout the day, but it is what it is. All right, 34,000 plus 3,000. All right, that's not super exciting, but times eight. Yeah, I guess it, it's gonna start adding up here. Attempt to get load two here. And there we go, now we're lined up. Now we're not. Oh, I know there's more in there. Boy, this is gonna take a while. So being sneaky, I brought the conveyor belt with me that had another 54,000 liters. Let's, uh, let's see if this works or if I'm gonna regret this. I think it's kind of hilarious, but we should be well over a million by the time we get done here. Let's see how this goes. And there's our million for the first time. And okay, so now we gotta figure out how to get in here and get that out. Let's see if it'll let me just jump in. Get it out, get out. There we go. We can pull forward here and see if this in theory will work. I have no clue. No clue. It is. That's hilarious. All right, so we'll let this 47,000 leaders go and see where we're at and then we'll finish that pit and then we'll go to the drying stations it is slow but it's efficient at the same time and way faster than how we could be doing it 4500 to go yeah and then we still got more to go yeah. the money isn't going up as fast as i was hoping it would though i was hoping to be around almost three million by the time we got done with this selling cycle and i don't think we're gonna be oh it's slowing down big time what's up with that so this will be the last load here and then we'll move over to the drying stations oh almost 100 1.2 million here we can go in here the belt systems can be returned and we'll head on over to the other cornfields. All right, we'll start with this one first. Let's hop out before we refill it. Let's see how it's doing so far. 570, mm. It's got a lot to go through still. All right, well, lots of trips. All right, first trip from this one. Should be about the same, about 30 some thousand dollars. You know, $36,000 at a time. We're getting there. We are sitting at $1.5 million and we have 11,000 liters left here. We'll let that keep producing. We still got over a million, still got over a million left in here. I'm not sure if between now and December, if it's gonna process all that. A little nervous about that, but there's still lots of money. Next December, we should be able to, or this coming up December, sell the rest of that. Let's head on over to the other silage, grass processor or dryer station and start rinse and repeating there as well. Long, long, long day. All right, first load here, all loaded up and 
It's struggling, but we'll get over there and just keep on selling. Well, this will be the last load for the day. We're sitting at $1.86 million. And here we go. All right, almost 2 million. Let's go ahead and we'll pop into the right menu, which should be this one. And we'll get these returned. Ooh, I'm exhausted. All right. And oh my goodness, we almost forgot about this silage. Another 55,000 liters. So we'll go ahead and turn this in as well. And that should put us pretty close to 2 million. Not quite there. About 1.93. Yep, 1.93 million. I think it's about time to become February. Ho, 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 ho. And we are wandering around picking up the goods for February. And it seems that honey and sunflower oil are going to be our items to sell, but we're making sure we get everything taken care of and prepped so we don't lose any spawns or have areas full of not being able to spawn pallets. So we're picking everything up and then we'll get all of that prepped and see where we're sitting for February. And then in March, we're going to plant some grass in all the large fields. So yeah, we'll need to load these up. We'll probably have to make multiple trips. That's okay. All right. Just a few extra we can pop on here and unload and load. There we go. 31,000 liters of sunflower oil and 6,500 liters of honey. Let's go see. We tipped. We definitely tipped over. Now, sunflower oil should be worth a lot. So I'm hoping this puts us pretty close to that halfway point. Two and a half million. We'll see. Yeah, not too bad. Two hundred and fifteen thousand there plus twenty-four thousand. We're at two point one seven with a big sales day coming up next. Let's check on all the animals and if everything's set, we're gonna go ahead and jump ahead to March and we'll get some planting done and also we will be selling all of the cornbread in March. Okay, so we are full on this first load of forty-four thousand liters of cornbread, and we'll come back and get the rest. And then it's time to take care of some fields. But I'm hoping cornbread treated us pretty good. And this is going to be the last time we get to sell it on this one. So these 60,000 liters, they're going to be helpful. And that put us over the halfway point with enough extra money at the halfway point to lease the cedar we need. Or planter. Cedar? Can't remember. We're going to plant some grass. And I think... Ooh, at this point, I think we're going to make it. I think we are going to make it to 5 million, but we still got clothes to sell. We got all that wool to sell and a whole nother harvest of grass, silage, more silage drying. It's looking promising at this point. For the last time this season, we are going to be planting and let's see if we can get a good... We lower it. We did lower it. Let's go ahead and get this started. So our plan here, our mad plan to end, is to just do silage. And we have a few crops going still. We have the, I believe it's some wheat and some canola. So we will have those to harvest still, but the rest is going to be silage from grass. We might have to do a little bit of hay and a little bit of regular grass for the sheep and the cows. But after that... That's, this is it. All right, so we picked up the sprayer. We're gonna spray the weeds. And while the grass fields are getting planted, we got the one back here getting planted right now by our worker. So let's go get some of our herbicide that we have stored. Oh, I think we have some by the cows. Let's go check. It is perfect. All right, let's see how much we got in here. Not bad, this should get us a good start. What a mess. All right, so we just got a few fields to spray. We'll probably get these done well before we get done planting, maybe even that first field. Let's go ahead and get started here. Yeah, hopefully this is enough product for these four fields that we're spraying. Two of them are right here, and then the other two are our two original fields in the main farm area, so. We'll get these done. Confidence level's a little higher than it's been all series. I think this silage ploy with the corn actually might have put us over the edge. We still got clothes to sell. And wool. One down. Now just this little guy here. Shouldn't take too long at all. Especially with the speed override like we have on right now. It's definitely helped us get more done than it wouldn't have. And I don't necessarily feel like it's cheating because it's just saving me a little bit of time in recording process. And on to the third and fourth one. And the last one's done. Maybe we have enough. Let's see, 67 liters. Yeah, it's going to be close. I think we're good, though. 
Didn't have to buy any more product for this, and we can return the sprayer for the last time. And done. Yeah, you can stay here for now. And we're getting there over here. It's gonna be a grind. All right, we just got them all done. If we take a look here, we got green, 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 grass everywhere. We missed a little bit over there, but I don't think that'll make or break us. And because I don't need these seeds or fertilizer, we're gonna go ahead and empty those before we return the cedar. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. That's gonna do it for this episode. We just have April through December to get through in the next one. And we'll find out if we were successful at this $5 million New Holland Challenge. Welcome back to the New Holland Challenge. This is our last episode. We're gonna find out. Today we have a lot of wool to sell. I'm actually gonna switch tractors because I'm a little worried about being able to pull all that. We'll hop in the New Holland 260 here. Get this attached, and we're going to do a little bit... I think we'll do a little montage time-lapse here of selling all the wool and clothes this morning. See how it goes. And 9,000 liters of clothes. Once again, we'll see how those sell. Not bad, about $300,000. We are sitting at $3.2 million. 1.8 to go. Being that it's only May, I think we're going to go ahead and sell this because the prices are better now than they're going to be in December. So might as well get as much out of this as possible. Nice $40,000 there. Just selling some things as we go here. We got rid of the butter for about $40,000 that we produced. And we're going to sell this wool. And then we need to get to cutting a lot of grass today and making silage bales. And another $7,000 for the wool. Not not too bad. Just a couple things of it. So we'll get a, you know, a little bit of that every single month moving forward. $2.7 million to go. $1.7 million to go. Math is hard. So I want to see what happens, because we have a lot of this to do. When I try to windrow and mow at the same time, I have no idea what will happen. So let's go ahead and set a course up. We'll do two headlands, generate that. Um, And I have a feeling... Yep, that was all set off the wrong implement. Okay. So we'll shrink this down. I think it's going to be about three meters. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll go like this. We'll go three meters, generate with the headland. That looks more realistic. And we'll see how this goes and if this is a good idea or not. Because we might lease a little bit more New Holland equipment to pull this off quicker. But we'll see how this is after one lap. All right, let's see what happens with the swath here. Because my concern is that it'll just turn into a ginormous single one at the end. And that's not necessarily what we want, but it might be... It might be genius. I don't know. Alright, now we're going to tail off here. So after every few rows, we could do this. We'll get this one out of the way. It'll be a little bit of babysitting, but it'll definitely get done much faster that way. Kind of finishing up this first field here before we start working on the other ones. And we're just going to stack them over here for now. We'll wrap them later. And we'll get them all turned into bales. We have plenty of time for them to turn into silage, so I'm not too stressed about it. There's five of the smaller ones, and then almost two full stacks of 28 each, I believe. Yep, yep. So good amount, good amount of bales. And we got this other field where we started doing bales on, but you can see we took a break. We have the wind rower just out in the middle. We'll get that put away and we'll get this other field all finished up next. Well, we got all the fields cut and it's time to figure out what we're going to do with this grass. And I decided I don't want to wrap all these. So we're going to drop them all off at the production here. If we can figure out how. Okay, they are. I just had to unload them, apparently. But yeah, we'll get all these dropped off. There's hundreds of them. And the reason we want to do that... Let's see if we can find the spot here. 
We're going to go ahead. Missing material is deactivate that one. Silage from grass will activate that one. So this other one, we still have 1.1 million. I'm hoping that produces, but you see we almost have a million liters in silage in this one. And over here, we have 800,000. Hoping this grass will help out. So we'll get this going, rinse and repeat, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see. It could be a gamble. If it doesn't get all produced in time by December. So we got it all loaded up. We got 1.5, almost 1.6 million in grass in one of the pits or one of the factories. And we got six, 766,000 in the other. I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. I don't think we're going to cut any more grass and these other harvests we're going to do, we're probably just going to keep them and not use the factories. I think we're solid to get this challenge one. Let's move forward to July and see what happens. Well, and since the confidence level is so high, let's go ahead and sell this wool so that it's out of our hands. We don't have to store it anymore. 20,000. One step closer. And I'm looking for other things to just kind of sell. Long term, we don't want to keep these fields. We're going to go ahead and sell them. We're not going to harvest them again. We'll get 65,000 there. We'll get 43 or 59,000 here. That puts us at almost three and a half million. This other one, 33, we're going to go ahead and sell. That gives us another 130,000. And we have productions on these two, so I'm going to keep them for now. We can sell them later. We're at 3.6 million now. Time to make it August. There's nothing really for us to do. We just got to get these fields to get ready to be harvested, and we can move forward with that. Well, I accidentally simulated too much time, so we're going to sell this wool here and get to harvesting for August. Not bad. I'm going around doing a little bit of chores. We have a worker helping us out with the harvest. Just trying to bust this out. I feel like we're going to be successful. And I'm honestly, I'm ready to be done. This has been a grind. It's taking an extra week to record this because of how much we have to do. So I'm just going to power through here. And get this done for y'all. Oh, we've had a little bit of an accident here. But it's time to sell everything. So let's go ahead and get started. It is December. And we're just going to go on a selling spree. We've skipped a few months. There was nothing really to do on the farm. And the cost of goods is not very good right now for some of this stuff. But we'll get the, be we'll get the best of it. We'll make the best of it. And we just have 1.3 million to get. So I'm, I'm pretty good. I think we're pretty good here. Got 8,000 more liters of wool. We'll go get those sold. And with the wool sold, we are sitting at 300 or $3,746,000. We're there. We're getting close. We're getting close. I think we're going to do it. First load set up here for our liquidation cell here. We're going to head on over to the diner and see what we're doing or see how we're doing. Going to be a few trips, I believe. You can see on the list here of everything we got going for us. And we'll come back for multiple trips, but I'll let you know our total after each selling event. After the first wave, we're at 3.875 million and a lot of silage yet to sell. All right, second trip here. Hopefully we'll get over 4 million here pretty quick. And we sure did. 4 million and 51,000. More trips to come. Looks like this might be our final trip here for the day. Let's see what we got. Another $156,000 to our name. We only need 0.8 million to go. Selling some wheat. Not bad. Good amount for the first one. And the rest of the wheat is sold. Not bad. Now let's go get our canola. Here we are with canola. We have just about like 89 liters left. So we're just going to sell this and leave the rest in the silo. Aha. Uh -huh. Not bad. We're at 4.3 million. We still have all the silage to sell. Let's get over there and take a look. Well, here's the moment of truth to see how much of our silage was actually produced. Almost 2 million. All right, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, I guess we can deactivate all of these. Deactivate that, that, that. The silage is still going, but we're going to come in here. We're going to change the output to selling. And we do have a mod that gives us 100% for selling that we're going to use just to help us out so we don't have to do a million trips here. Let's see what happens when we get past the next hour and we'll know where we're at financially. Wow, 
after the silage was sold, we are at 6.799 million. I would say this challenge was a success. Let's do a few other things. So now we're going to start doing a little bit of role playing on before setting up our farm for what we want long term. We don't need this field anymore because we have a lot of money in hand. We're going to sell a couple of these fields off that we just don't want to maintain anymore now that we have a nice cash pile. And there's a few things that the, we're kind of role playing that this farmer still wants this grass field for the sheep and the cows. And also the smaller fields here to keep his canola production going as well. But selling all that land put us at $7.66 million. We beat this by about $2.6 million. Unbelievable. This was fun. This was a blast. I'm glad we did it. It was a success. I'll catch you on the next episode.